All right, in this uh, video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over one of the key features in uh, Milwaukee One Key application, which is the ability to transfer uh, tools in your inventory, you know, between locations to job sites. Uh, so, you know, one of the main features of this is to track your tools and to know where your tools are at and then to keep up with them. So there's a couple of different ways that you can go about taking a tool and assigning it to a job. Uh, you can do a bulk transfer. So we're going to go over a couple of those right now. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our locations and we're going to just create a new job location. And so I click on locations and we got our locations page that loads here and I'll hit the plus sign in the top right to add a new location and we'll just call this uh, Barry Hill job. We can give it a job number if you have your own internal uh, numbering system that you may use for jobs and POs. So I'll just come up with one there. You can give it an address. And a city. Uh, country, zip, so forth and so on. <clears throat> all right, I got all that stuff loaded. I'm just going to hit save. The save button is right here. All right, so now I've got that new job added to the one key uh, application. You can see I got zero items associated with it. So, how do we start transferring products? our tools to this location or this job so we know that you know we're taking them out of you know the storeroom your tool closet or whatever and have assigned it to a job so we're going to go to manage inventory and so we know that this job the address is in Danville and we have a lo uh, you know a store uh, closet for our, our tools in Danville so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to filters and we're going to just filter by location and we're just going to choose Danville and hit update. So here's all the tools that we have right now uh, in our Danville tool closet. So let's just say we're going to take this first one right here. So I'm going to click on it and hit view details. From this detail page here, we may want to unassign it to a specific individual, so we've taken it away from them. And now we want to transfer the tool. So we want to transfer this tool to a new location. So we hit transfer, and we just specify the new location. Very Hill job. We can also print a signable copy. So it basically generates a PDF file that uh, you can print off and make the individual that's taking it or, or the person that's taking it to this particular job sign off on it and you can document that in your internal uh, document process that you may have for your organization. So we'll just hit, uh, we're going to transfer this to a new location, Barry Hill job, we'll hit transfer. And you can see that the sign a location is now Barry Hill job and I'll just hit done. So that's assigning one tool to uh, a, a, you know, a new job. So if you had a very large job, you could be transferring dozens and dozens and dozens of tools to a uh, new job site and vice versa. When the job's done, you may need to transfer all those tools back into your you know, uh, location that you store your tools. So there's a transfers uh, option over here on our left left side where the menu is. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on transfers and I'm going to click on new transfer. And this will allow you to do bulk transfers of your tools. So I know my tools that I need to pull from are in my Danville location. I know I need to transfer them to my, um, transfer them to the Berry Hill job. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this drop down. So we're going to transfer from Danville to the Berry Hill job. 
All right. I am going to do a signable copy because I want to hand this off to one of my employees to go back to the tool closet, pick these tools based off what I give him, and uh, get him to sign off that he's selected the right tools and they're being delivered to the job site. So let's say we need this deep cut bandsaw, we need a, a sawzall, we, and we also need a tugger, uh, cable cutters, uh, impact wrench, and a stud punch. So we need these tools. So I've gone through and selected all the tools that I need. And just so you know, this tool list for this one location only has 10 tools, but it could have hundreds of tools. And if it did, you may want to sort by categories, you know, to find the tools that you're looking for quickly. This was a pretty small condensed list. It was easy. But if you have hundreds of tools, then you may want to search for them. You could search for them, literally just, you know, search for them by the description, their tool number, uh, manufacturer, or you could do it by categories. So I got six tools here that's going from the Danville location to the Berry Hill job. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit transfer. Are you sure you want to transfer? And hit OK. So if the transfer is complete. Your inventory has been transferred. And let's generate the PDF file. And here is the PDF file right here. And so as you can see, it's going to have your tool number, the description of the tool, the model number, and how many you're taking out, so forth and so on, all the way down the list. And this is where the signable copy is, so the person can sign off on it down here at the bottom. And you can print this off and store it for your own uh, internal document process. So I'm just going to close that. Now just you can just click off the screen anywhere. So what we're going to do is let's go back to our inventory and let's just go see if all those tools have been transferred. So we took six tools out of Danville and you can see I still have my filter here for Danville and it's down to four now. And then we had manually transferred one to the Berry Hill job and then uh, did a bolt transfer of six tools to the Berry Hill job. So we should have seven in there. So let's go filters and let's go to location and let's choose the Berry Hill and hit update. And as you can see, we do have a total of seven items now in our Berry Hill job. When you do a bolt transfer, it will keep a transfer history for you. So we can click on this and you can uh, pull this up for your reference and it will show all the transfers that you've recently done. So I, you can see six items were transferred from Danville to Berry Hill job on this date at this time. And you can always click on the PDF file to bring it up to relook at it again. And there's the PDF file that was generated. Another thing as well, it will go back to our inventory and our Berry Hill is still, uh, filter is still selected. Let's go into this uh, tool right here. And you can see from the tool history, it keeps a log of where the tool has been as well. So you can go into each individual tool and when a tool gets moved from one location to another, that, lo that information is archived and stored with the tool so you can see where it's been. So it was in Greenville, and then it got moved to Danville, and now it's been moved to the Berry Hill job. So what we just covered was the process of transferring tools to different locations, specifically job sites, uh, which is one of the primary features of this one key application. And uh, that will do it. Thank you.